All right. Oh, do another head gasket chain check. This time I can use the one on this kit that has the hole in it for the engine vacuum because I have an extra vacuum port. Okay, so why are we doing a head gasket check? Because this thing is overheating randomly sitting, and I think it's—I think what it is is these fins have gotten clogged because you can't see much light through them. So I'm thinking that's the problem, but it's a possibility that it's head gasket. And uh, I'm going to check for head gasket because I got the kit, and it gave me a chance to show the vacuum one off. If you just use the one with a little hole in it. Run the vacuum line back to the vacuum port, which I had the spare here. Just take the plug off of it and put it on there. If you can go around here and show that. Okay, so we're going to see if this works. And if, since he didn't mention it, this is his 1999 Kia Sportage EX. The Dead Flower Edition, I guess. Yeah, pink silk tree. Been parked under it, and it's still dropping. It makes a mess. Oh yeah, trees, they give good shade, but they make a mess. They do make a horrible mess. So, put it up to the line, which a little over. Put the thing in, and then make sure that's not clinked and not where it's going to catch anything. And I'll go start it. Now, we are waiting for the color on this to change. If the color changes, that means exhaust is getting in this, and it is done for. If it doesn't change, then we're in good shape. If it starts pulling uh, green fluid in, then that means it's, uh, it's stuck in coolant. And I think it just started sucking coolant. Yep, it just started sucking coolant. It looks kind of like a science experiment now. Yeah. Hey, the good news is it's not sucking any gas, so it's not a head gasket. What's the bad news? Well, the bad news is it's not ideal, but it's a lot better than the Kia because you can, or the Subaru was, you can see the coolant level. And then you still have this on top, and it's not sucking any air. Well, in the Subaru, you didn't have a tester. You had a geyser. Yeah, true. <laughs> but but this is, other than the fact it's sucked cooling in, this is more characteristic to non-blown head gaskets. No head gasket problem. Which is good. Once again, the Kia keeps it running. And Kia, if you steal that slogan, I want a dollar every time you sell a car. But Kia keeps it running. But yeah, that's, if you get coolant uh, sucked in, that's what it should do. It should stay on the bottom. Your coolant and water mix should stay on the bottom. The blue should stay on top. So. Yeah. I'll let you deal with that and deal with the consequences of that anyway. So, pardon my knuckle, we use yeah. paper towel collar. Just uh, keep anything from getting down because this is right outside where we walk the dogs. So I really don't want coolant on the ground. Yeah. Doggos will go, ooh, delicious. And then that'll be a sad day after that. Everybody knows this, but I'll say it again. Don't let antifreeze be in an area you're putting your pets or other people's pets or huh? animals or whatever yeah other people's pets it wild animals and it's toxic yes and children all right mm -hmm. well, that was did it you say that. like children i said and even children okay that makes more sense because i heard like children it takes tastes sweet and is toxic like children i was like what in the world are you talking about <laughs> it depends on some people's opinion that some people would say that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so it keeps going. It's got some oil seepage and oil seepage on this return line in the back. But I also came out here and sprayed around everywhere with starter fluid while it was running to see if the engine uh, jumped. Basically, it'll rev up. 
if you have a vacuum leak and it sucks in starter fluid or should rev up because it's getting more fuel didn't make a change didn't change anything so i can't find any sign of a vacuum leak at least not for engine intake so it's not a gasket but this has made a big difference this new mass airflow sensor has made it run a whole lot better it's still not real happy with idle levels but that I'm may be the that. fact that yeah i cannot get a idle control valve that's truly for this thing they're all listed as being for working on this one but it's not original equipment and i can't find one that's original equipment so i'm i'm guessing that no matter what i do the idle is going to be a little off just because I can't get something exactly what should have been there originally. And the original one died. No. Yeah. So, getting more and more of the old ones trying to get electronics to work close to what it needs to be. It's a fight. Yeah. More and more it's a fight. We need to get a new valve like. New yeah, before they vanish. Yeah, we need to order another new one of those. And so the next part of this video is going to be either him spraying out the radiator or the consequences of him spraying out the radiator, one or the other. Yep, I don't know. You can put the camera in there, but I don't think I can film and spray at the same time, so someone would have to come with me. Yeah. All right. We're getting ready to spray wash out the radiator, see if that helps. But I was talking about using star fluid to find a vacuum leak. And I'll make an example of it because I can use this port for a vacuum leak. I'll start it up. The port, we still don't know where. What it's for. I think it I actually figured out what it's for. It's for something this vehicle doesn't have. There oh. was a vacuum canister right here on some of the older models. And this no longer has that. So it just suffers from being an in-between model. Hmm. See how the engine changed? I don't know if they can hear that. Yeah, they can hear that. You can hear it idle up. It idles up. Now, show. give me a demonstration of where you would spray that on the engine if you're looking for a vacuum leak. And where I was at, anywhere you got gaskets, like right here, this junction, this junction, this junction down there. You want to do it before the engine gets too awful hot. There's a... In, up here, around this. Whoop, I heard it. I heard it too. But then I've got a vacuum. I forgot that I sucked some in there. I See, now there's one, nothing. That one. Yep, now there's nothing. You're yeah, right. It just sprayed over. But all, everything there, anything where you have all the valves anything where you're going to have vacuum that's controlling it and as you said before remember starter fluid is flammable so do this when the engine's cold otherwise and I see a people lot might of, be talk, calling you crispy yeah, and I see a lot of people do this with brake fluid brake clean fluid and I don't like doing that because it's a lot harsher this is just alcohol basically so it's one of those It'll evaporate quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm not finding anything where there's a leak. So, it's not a vacuum leak. It's just, and, I, and since I replaced this, I'm back up to getting about 22, 23 miles per gallon. So it's right. back into what its normal range is. It should be a little better than that, but that's about as good as I've had it since I've owned it. So... So that's about it for this one. Other than I said, we're going to pressure wash this out. Pressure, pressure wash it, and then we can and, uh, uh, see what it does. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll solve the heat problem. Yeah. So it's not about it for this one. Yeah. We're pressure washing next. Water hose can't feed enough water to that fast enough, so you gotta wet and stop it. Although I was standing on it.
clear coat on this anymore. It's still got a good metallic plate. Yeah. These are pretty color. Mm-hmm. It was a pretty color. I took a lot of the paint off cleaning the the uh, radiator though. And I have no idea what hit the uh, the light the headlamp and did that damage to it. Mm. It's a minor scratch. There, transformation some of y'all wanted to see. There we go, it ain't gonna stay that way. No, oh, it'll be muddy by the end of the day. Yeah. That looks so much better with the, the new headlights, even though one of them's already broken. Mm. But the simple things you can do to transform an old car, just to make it, even if it's got worn out paint, slap some new $80 headlights on it. If it's got hubcaps, take the old worn ones off and put some shiny new plastic hubcaps on it. Yep. It'll add a couple hundred dollars worth of value to the car. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. it's small little things, even if it's... This looks a little junky, it's a little old, a little rusty. Add new headlights, put new, put new plastic hubcaps on it. You know, small, small little things makes a world of difference. All right, well, it seems it's done the trick, unless it's pressure washer lasts long enough to get that clean. As you can see, it's not finished because the pressure washer broke gun broke so I've got one off of an old one somewhere I might be able to piece those together and fix it but yeah but as you can see from the temperature gauge it's still sitting where it needs to be and it's been sitting out here idling for about 30 minutes it was 15 20 and it would be overheating it's been mm. right in the temperature it needs to be there we go I think y'all can see that Apologies, the thing seems to be focusing on the steering wheel. There we go. Sorry about that. So, and and while you're filming it, it moved up a little bit. <laughs> so, we'll see. But so far it's behaving better, so I think that took care of it. It probably was just the condenser was clogged, so it wasn't letting air flow through. Yeah. So all I can do is drive it for a while and see what it does. Today's a lot cooler than it has been. It's only in the mid 80s. So if it gets up into the hundreds again, it may overheat again sitting. So it's just a matter of using and seeing. But for now, it looks like it, it fixed it. If it hadn't fixed it, it sure helped it. And a reminder, when was the last time you flushed the coolant to this? Uh, last year. So it's definitely not the coolant. No, it's got fresh coolant. So, and coolant's good, and I've tested the coolant as well. It's supposed to have a newer water pump and thermostat. The person I bought from supposedly replaced that when they replaced the timing belt. But, they go off of that, it's kind of whatever. Now the temperature's starting to climb. It's been doing good for 30 minutes. Now you mess with it and it's starting to climb. But it's not climbing like it was. No, turn on your heater, it'll be fine. So, it's one of those, maybe it is still a problem. I don't know. Well, it's idle for about half an hour, and it's only at that, whereas it's before... It's idle for more than half an hour, and it was staying good and cool, and it just started going up all of a sudden, so... I don't know, maybe it is thermostat. I do have a new thermostat. It was doing good till we came out to film it. <laughs>
Nah, it's we'll still see. doing a lot better than it was. We'll see. Let us know at the end of the day how it's doing. Yeah. Some days it does good, some days it declines, so. I don't know. It, it's also not completely ideally finished either because eh, the pressure washer blew. Yeah. So. Well, it's been rinsed out a lot, and so it's definitely helped, but then the gun on the pressure washer popped. So, we'll see. No matter what you see, like I said, it was doing great, and that just started heating up, so I don't know. It could be a bad thermostat. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's it's going to be too hot now to test the the head gasket thing again, but I don't know. It shouldn't be head gasket. That only, uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's better. It's not fixed. So it is better. It's not fixed. My, the thermostat may be a problem, but it is better than it was before. Yeah, it was acting fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Until I want to prove it fixed, and then I said, nope, not fixed. <laughs> but what time is it? I don't have a watch. 12.30. 12.30. So it's been idling for about 40 minutes. So that's a whole lot better than it was doing. Yeah. Could be the fan. Fan just could be old and just giving out. Well, it's not an electric fan. It's a mechanical fan. And the belt's been replaced, so it's working. All right. Yeah, I'm just a, spitballing and throwing a, things out there. It's a dumb fan, so it doesn't have anything smart to it. It just spins. <laughs> and it still spins. Right. And fan shroud's still there. And that tends to be the big one. Fan shroud's gone. So I may have to add an electric fan to it. I'm wondering if I'm not going to have to take off the, uh, the air conditioning condenser. Since I don't have air conditioning anymore. Or, here's a crazy idea we could get the compressor and add AC to it. Um, well, we have the compressor and we have the condenser. I can't get the hard lines. We just reuse the old hard lines. They're clogged. We just clean out and reuse the old hard lines. I don't lines. think I can. Someone, yes, can. someone clogged everything in that AC unit. I think <clears throat> they just poured straight leak seal in it. I think they put five gallons of leak seal in it and left it because everything is locked and sealed so i don't know if i can clean them or not but there's no flow whatsoever through the lines all right well we'll figure it out anyway so that's why i keep putting that off i can't find the lines no one has the hard lines okay this about wraps, that about wraps this up yeah it wraps this one up there's not much more i can do the only other thing i'm going to do is i will take it to the car wash bin five dollars and quarters and get it a little cleaner since the pressure washer died yep <laughs> <laughs> but uh and once i get some soap and some more water through that it may do better because it was doing better either way it is doing a little better so i don't know once it gets soap and water through it it'll probably be fine yeah we'll see all right well till next time have a good one